Hi, in this video we're going to see how to import a black and white or in color a any design from the internet or customer logo to project the image, wrap the image around any surface, dome surface and convert them into a spline so we can create surfaces on the ring. I'm going to close this ring. No design. File, new design click on the jewelry we need to import from the template C library we need to import a signet ring signet double click opens up the ring into the screen then we need to go to design section click on file insert once you click on file insert sometimes you don't see your images because your default will be on space claim so when you click on the pictures click on process image and then there's no image make sure that your over here your document will be all file all of the files so it opens up all the images for now we're gonna pick the ring that over here it's a black and white I got this image from the internet this is only for test trying you can open the file the file comes in flat always flat so here we have an icon sometimes you'll be on your left side and sometimes the icon will be on your right side depends on your screen setup I'm gonna click on this wrap around image place wrap image place an image that wraps around the selected face now when you left click anywhere I click if I just move hover my mouse over any surfaces the design goes to any surface this time I want to place the image on this surface and if you zoom in and out it will rescale the image smaller or bigger left click you place the image on the surface now select tool over here inside the signature ring we have solid and an image inside the jewelry tab we have tool select first we need to select the tool we need to as you see the process image is not active if we left click on the image and click on process image now it opens up this browser in this training I'm not going to move this slider you have another training for color images we'll explain over there what the slider are for if I click on process image it will take approximately 30 seconds to process this image on the surface of the ring and create this vector as you see in here this part the two lines are not connected because I never move the slider now turn off the image turn off the solid now we have extra curve this is the curve you can always select the window and delete the extra pieces that you don't want to see over here we have the same thing delete if you want to select this point and in design tab you click on the move tool we selected the point here we have icon called up to up to select the point not the line the point of the curve to move the point to point exactly now I'm going to create one of the surfaces select tool now select tool I'm going to select the curve curve fill I will fill that curve into a surface pull tool select the surface and drag it outside or drag it inside if you drag it inside it means we're going to cut from the piece I'm going to grab this other one fill tool select the surface left click one time on the surface then rotate drag left click and drag the arrow backwards the reason why we did two different ways one of the way is if I turn on my solid tool and combine the ring here we have keep cutter I want to I want to delete disable the keep cutter and click on this surface it didn't cut because they're in planar select triple click this surface 
one more time turn off the solid triple click and we need to move a little bit outside a little bit slightly then bring back the solid tool combine this from this cutter and then as you see left click one more time will disappear the inside extra part well one left click not on the ring on this object it will disappear the object see now one of them is sunk one of them is raised sometimes it won't cut because it's exactly on the surface of the ring that's why we need to move the cutter a little bit outside the surface of the ring this is how we create the curve for the rings just for you guys to know thank you